I want to implement this truth table uh, function x using a 4 by 1 multiplexer is the truth table is exactly the same as the previous video but here instead of 8 by 1 I have 4 by 1 multiplexer so I will have this is 4 by 1 max I will have two select pins and these are input let's say 0 1 2 i2 and then i3 like that and maybe here i want the output x so what i will do i don't have three select pins uh, my inputs are three in the function but i have just two select pins so i will uh, apply b and c here so this is s2 this one is s2 and this one where c i'm connecting c, sorry s1 and this one is s0 so b is the higher significant one c is the lower significant one now what i can see from the truth table is i0 will be the this one and this one similarly i1 will be this one and this one because 0 1 will represent i1 0 0 will represent i0 that is when its select pins are 0 0 I will have i0 as input and I input i0 will go to output similarly when 0 1 bc is 0 1 i1 will go to output and so on so what I will do of looking at the truth table is I will try to see what are the outputs for the first one so I am trying to find out what has to be the input at i0 so I will see what are the output in these two conditions let's look at that I can see that the output is 1 here it's 1 for both the cases so whatever the input whatever the other input of the variable a is doesn't matter it's changing it's 0 and 1 it's always changing here it's 0 here's 1 here's 0 here's 1 0 here is 1 so my objective is to find out what input will serve the appropriate output to go there so I can see it's always 1 so x will be 1 when b and c is 0 0 when a is 1 or a is 1 or a is 0 doesn't matter x will always be 1 so I can apply safely apply 1 here at i 0 similarly I have to find now i 1 so again I look at this one and this one I again see that both are 0 though a is 0 here and 1 here doesn't matter output is always 0 so I can apply 0 here now let's look at the third one which is i2 where b is 1 and c is uh, 0 like this one and this one so here I can see is this is 0 here and this is 1 here so output is changing so what I will try to do is I will try to see how it is changing with the other input which is a so I can see in the first case when this is 0 a is also 0 when this is 1 a is 1 that means whatever a is that is going to the output so I can write a here for the last one which is i3 and b and c are 1 1 this one and this one I see it's again changing 1 and 0 and for the first one when output is 1 a is 0 and when output is 0 a is 1 that means it is just the invert of a so I can write a apply a bar here so if I arrange this circuit I apply 1 at i0 uh, 0 at i1 a at i2 and a bar at i3 I will get the outputs according to the truth table so let's assume a case when I have maybe this one a is 0 b c so I have 0 1 0 whenever I have that I have 0 1 0 here so it will select the third third input which is i2 and then the input is a here i2 the pin input is a here so a is 0 
and it should go to output so x will also be 0 and that's what I'm getting here similarly if I since I have developed it looking at the truth table it should work so this is how I can implement a three variable uh, function using a 4 over 1 max